Good afternoon, C4 Church. It's Pastor Bill, and it's Wednesday. That means our weekly encouragement right in the middle of the week in between our two worship services. I hope you're having a great day, a good day. You're staying safe and healthy. Your family is doing well. You're going to notice I've got all kinds of speakers behind me, uh, flanking me on both sides. And, you know, speakers, they only do one thing. They put out noise. And I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of noise out in our society today. Most of us, including myself, are on information overload. All types of news, information, misinformation, uh, personal and political agendas all coming at us. There's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of outright lies all being spoken to us from all kinds of methods and medias. All speaking to our ears with the hopes of getting into our minds and whatever is in our mind will eventually come out of our mouth or maybe even on social media. You know, for a few weeks now, I've been asking you two questions. Is God trying to speak to us during this COVID-19 response crisis? And if he is trying to speak to us, what is he saying? Now, I think the answer is yes, he is trying to speak to us. And I believe I've got an idea of what he's been trying to say to us or is revealing to us little at a time. So starting this Sunday, we have a new sermon series um, that we're going to base on what I think God is saying to us, saying to the church, the big C, that all of us need to pay attention to here in 2020. Now, as much as we know God is trying to speak to us, he's trying to say something to us, we know that the enemy, he's also trying to talk. He's also trying to talk over God, and whatever God's trying to say, the enemy likes to speak louder and even more bolder than what God says. I've often found that God usually, his voice in the midst of all the noise in my life, his voice tends to be the, the, the quieter one. But the enemy's words, man, they're always, they're always loud and, and they seem to be uh, meant to distract me, to destroy me, to, to detour me from God and, and you too. So yes, there's a lot of noise out there. Some of it's really loud, some of it's subtle, and it's got a lot of agendas. The question is that I want to ask you today, as we get close to the end of April, is which voice are you listening to? Which are you choosing to listen to? I was thinking this morning, how, does, how has God spoke to us in the past? Well, if I go in the Old Testament mainly, and then I look in the New Testament, I know that God, obviously, he speaks through creation. <laughs> he speaks through angels. He speaks through prophets. Um, he spoke directly to Moses, uh, and that didn't happen too many other times than to Moses. We know that God speaks through dreams, miracles, uh, we, he spoke through a donkey. And of course, in the New Testament, he spoke through Jesus himself. So a question we have to ask ourselves in all the noise that's going on here is, is one of the voices that we hear today actually God speaking? And is God still speaking to us in 2020? I think he does. But again, we need to choose to listen to him. So yeah, he speaks to us today. I think he speaks to us through uh, the indwelling Holy Spirit. And again, that's usually that quiet voice. Maybe we call that the, our, our, our conscious voice. He speaks to us through the Bible, the Word of God. He speaks to us through uh, nature, through prayer, uh, through other people, especially those who are practicing their spiritual gifts. I think God speaks to us through music. I know he speaks to my heart through music often. And he speaks to us through circumstances. That's the one that I think God has been really focused on lately. But often, in the midst of God trying to speak to something, as he, as he launches his agenda for us to hear, the enemy is well aware of that, and he begins to speak louder. And he, his message sometimes becomes a little more obvious in our culture and our society. But i got to ask you another question. Are you being deceived? Are you being detoured away from what God's trying to tell you and compared to what Satan's telling you? Now, I found there's a real easy difference to know. There's one key difference into knowing or how to recognize God's voice better. See, if Satan tries to counterfeit God's voice, believers should be able to immediately recognize it as a deception. 
I go back to John 10, where uh, in the Gospel of John, we read Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and I know they're mine. My sheep recognize my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone pluck them out of my hand. You see, the key to recognizing God's voice amongst all the other noise in our life is to stay as close as possible to the shepherd. And then when you stay close to the shepherd, you'll be able to recognize the nuances of his voice, the one who calls you and leads you. And that's what sheep, uh, sheep, sheeps, I'm not sure which one is the plural. They begin to recognize their own shepherd's voice, not the other shepherds, but their shepherds. And it takes practice and time and they have to stay really close to the shepherd. And so that's how I want you to begin to listen to maybe what God's saying to you is get close to God. And so how do you stay close to the shepherd? How, do, how in 2020 do you, do you begin to recognize his voice more and more? Well, it's real easy. Pray more. Read the Bible more. Praise more. And listen to healthy, spiritual God voices from people that love God and who are called according to God and the Spirit lives within them. And you're going to be able to pick up on the agendas that God has. So yeah, I think God's trying to say something today here in 2020. And our task is to try to figure out what He is saying to us. And I do believe that I have heard the message that God is telling the church and we, C4, are included. So I hope you're going to join us uh, this Sunday as we start our new series, 9 a.m. It's going to last for a few weeks. And I, I, I got to tell you that Jesus is the voice of reason today. And he's trying to say something very specific to us. He is trying to get our attention. So a little bit of a encouragement for you today. It's also a little bit of a promotion to what we're going to be doing on Sunday mornings. And again, we're going to go Zoom live. We're going to go uh, about 9 a.m. Again, we're going to try to have that service to end around 10 to 10, 15. We also thank the Lord. We now have internet at the church. We have dropped a line. We have internet at the church. The church computers have been linked up to it. Craig has been trying to uh, marry the two, Zoom and Facebook, and we're getting really, really close. They're going to do some testing tonight. And I, I think we're going to be able to have two avenues for um, us to have e-services together. Zoom, which is wonderful, but it does have its limitations and then Facebook Live. Now, last week we did a, a just a test. I put up my camera sitting up on, on the stage and just did a test. Do you know we had over 178 views of that service last week? And that was just a test. So th the power of sharing, liking, and following us on our Facebook feed, um, our page, C4 Church of God, is powerful and it's going to get out there to a lot of people and i think the message that god has begun to birth in us as the church will be very relevant for the very uh, uh this sunday and all the next following sundays so god bless you that's my weekly encouragement to you again if there's anything that you need any prayer that we can pray for you send me a text send me an email Communicate with me on Faith Life. Send me a message through Facebook. And God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week.